Stasi, Uwe Mnadi, Sonke sind der Sieber Wahnsinn. Homie, don't worry, hold up. No more gossip, 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 g
Oh, oh awesome, awesome stuff to hear. Um, what's the plan? You know, um, are you fully in the music now? Is this what you're doing? Mm -hmm. What can we look forward to? Well, um, this is me fully, fully, fully into the deep. Yeah. Um, it's something that I've always wanted to do. Ukula, mm. you know, from the Eastern Cape singing. Yeah. So when the opportunity came for me to, to do a song, so uh, I was like, okay, let me just do it because it's, it's my passion. Yeah. Dad, where, where are you based? Um, I'm based in Jobek, but originally from uh, Ekuwa, uh, Eastern okay. Cape, yeah, from Ngalat. Okay, so now you're here. Yeah, so now we can explore you. Yeah. <laughs> I want you to tell us about this look that you got going on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look what you Oh, my God. No. <laughs> uh, well, my sister put this together, Ooh, Zandile. Um, she's a fashion designer. Nice. So I don't, I, I don't pay. I'm like, okay, sister, can you, can you hook me up? Can you hook you up? Yeah, so um, we kind of have to look good. Uh, Definitely. Yeah, so this is my image. Nice. Yeah. Well, thank you nice. so much for coming through to Mzansi Inside and waking up the whole of South Africa yes. with us. Yes. Sanwanani, Lavo Emakaya. Thank you so much for tuning in. You've made the right choice. This is the place to bezel. Yes, definitely. Entertainment galore. We Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Always just hashtag Mzansi Inside. So we know that you're hollering at us. Uh, so much in store. Speaking about that, let's check out what the show up. The show lineup looks like it's a wow senga sonta oh right. i remember one time a guy made fun of me he was like oh your dad's a god now ha 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 my circumstance did not define who i would be what is meditation <laughs> letting your mind do what it was made to do are there people who can't the moment you can think you can meditate three young minds came together to deliver what has become essays go to spot for online entertainment content we don't fabricate stories you know we're mm. not like a, a tabloid publication we just document what's there and we'll yeah. never say anything if, if we can't back it up remember if you want to share your story with us on perspective all you have to do is send us an email at boomwet.tv right now it's time for us to check out this week's perspective ever wondered what it's like being a pastor's kid well wonder no more because rory is one and she's gonna tell us <laughs> <laughs> how is it being a pk uh, a lot of pressure it's good i, I enjoyed it i don't okay. think it's yeah but it's got its ups and downs do you have to read the Pros bible every you day you do not have to read the bible every day unless you want to read the bible every day i read the bible every day it's a choice it's not that bad. It's like just having really strict parents. That's, All right. Well, there are many other like. PKs out there, so check out this week's perspective. Have a look. I can have a 25 from Top Uh I'm the son of the late Archbishop Zex Khametau. Uh, Prospend the Tadil 2011. I was in the Tadil, 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 I was in the it was very hard because uh, people who almost start thinking they, they have their own expectations. Uh, like they, they, they wanna they wanna see you over Khatla go starting more than oh Khatla go 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 uh, People have more expectations of you. I'm just man on a hard way to do too much. Apart from me, my hard way to hard to hamul. But I'm man on a lot of no do. O kaska ijeri no do se uli takai. Kore talenta na lo ne le na le runa re le batsadi ba khayar makat. It happened for the 4th of May, uh, 2016. My dad, my dad passed away. So it was very, very, very difficult for him. Like, since Papa and stuff. Because people were expecting me to, to, to be like to, to, to carry on his legacy and stuff. Uh, 
It's time for the Gandur, also known as the Office of the Outbreak. Masbuye Dol. I started brewing in Bombay four years ago. I started cooking in Bombay. Keep the channel locked on Musazi Insider. You know what it is, Musazi Insider. I'm Zadin Saira. Uh, my name is Sabi Somolekwa. I'm a brewer of Imbombi. Welcome to my office. <laughs> I was starting to be a market. Uh, I, was, uh, I was young when I was 23. Um, I had a, friend, I had a pub with him. He's called Detox Corner. I saw the opportunity, you know, because uh, there I used to serve uh, people, uh, my consumers, with the uh, with meal combined with the uh, in-house product, you know? And that's what the AJ came about. The, I started cooking with my wife, basically, you know? <laughs> yes, guys, uh, this uh, controlling panel, we use it for controlling temperature. This is our machine tank. And this is our boiling point. Craft beer, it's a small scale brewed beer. The, the finances was a bit of a challenge. To penetrate the market, there are a lot of barriers, you know? Uh, that we are facing, you know, and I'm still facing even now, you know. How did I find my, uh, this project is that uh, my company is a holding company, you know. So apart from, uh, apart from uh, a brewery, I've got other subsidiaries that uh, support uh, the brewery. That's how I managed to keep, you know, keep this thing running. This is our mealy, where we do a crushing of the malt. A malt is a seed that you use for color. After meshing it for an hour or so, you're going to put it, transfer it from this side to this side. We want to increase the temperature up to 8 degrees. These are the fermenters that we use. This is where we're going to introduce your yeast. Before you introduce your yeast, you must make sure that your temperature is at least 13 degrees. I look up to there's a guy called uh, Floyd Chobani. He, he taught me a lot of things, you know, with regards to business, you know. He taught me how to, you know, place myself within the business environment, you know. He taught me how to always be humble, you know what I mean? He taught me how to add value into money, you know? So he taught me a whole lot of things about life, about, uh, you know, business and stuff like that, you know what I mean? I'm, uh, I'm the only director, but I've employed another people, about 15, 15 people that I've employed already, you know? Because uh, I only deal with the production side. And of course, I've got, I've got other people that uh, deal with the marketing of the brand, um, sales of the brand, you know, uh, packaging of the brand, you know? So overall, totally, we are about 15 staff. My name is Api Wengusani Mawela, and I'm the brewmaster. To become a brewmaster, one has to study and obviously comes with experience. So I started a master brewer diploma through the Institute of Brewing and Distilling, which is in UK. Within the brewing industry, uh, you don't find many qualified brewers, especially black brewers, and uh, more especially the female brewers. So it is, it does become a bit challenging, especially for people, because people don't think you, you, you know what you're talking about, uh, being black, and uh, that you don't fit in kind of thing. And uh, so it has been quite a challenging, but at the same time, very interesting. This is my girl, bro. Mark, could you mind telling us what you're doing today? Okay, at the moment I'm busy brewing another one of our contracts today. Okay. Um, you've caught me a little bit late, but I'm currently in the second stage of the louter, okay. which just comes straight after mashing. So currently at the moment what I'm doing is I'm busy rinsing basically the grain from earlier that went into the mash tun. During the first stage I was getting the, the initial sugars out, which is very, very, very sugary. Now what I'm doing is I'm trying to get the rest of the sugars out and any sort of remaining flavors that are left that I want to transfer over to the beer. So at the moment, busy spraying hot water all over the grain bed here. And I'm busy transferring it through the bottom, down here into our boiling vessel. And this... I've learned, I've learned some of them and I can mention a few. You know, the way the consumer, um, uh, um, the knowledge of the consumer with regards to brewing industry, you know, and uh, the way the response uh, 
um, towards the, the brand, you know, and those are the things that I've learned, you know, and uh, obviously when I come here, I take those lessons and try to put them here just to make sure that I deliver, you know, I'm mean, going to the quality, the quality product to them. I'm going to show you guys, 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 after you own game, though, it's the last stage here too, where you get the final product that goes to the market is a ye. Using these pipes. In Ganala, and uh, la ama caps, ama caps belts, where you use to, to bottle it. In a carbon, in it. From here, it goes here. This is our Ashrenki machine. See, bang must expect. We bring a must expect to Ashrenka this Shrenki machine. From Gada, I'm a man, I'm not a man. No, I mean, um, I'd like to see the product um, doing well in the southern uh, part of Africa, you know, dominating the southern part of Africa, like our neighbor's country, and obviously doing well, you know, uh, nationwide, you know what I mean? And, uh, and uh, obviously, by then, I'd like to see the product knocking, you know, in other parts of, of, of the world, like uh, Europe, China, States as well, you know? And I'd like to see it competing with those uh, global competition. Global product competition, basically. Yeah. One of the one of the legislation of the IF is that uh, we need to consistently warn, you know, um, our, con our consumers about the danger of the IF, you know, and uh, that's what we're constantly doing. Try to warn you guys that, because it's important that you enjoy this refreshing IF, but make sure that you drink it responsibly, you know. Therefore, we consistently, you know, um, warn our consumers that you know it's important that you you you, you drink uh, responsibly. It's important that you don't drink and drive because you know it's not good for your you know for your health and for the other people that are around, surrounding basically you know what I mean. So you cost so you cost it. You can find Imbombi on Facebook at Imbombi, uh, on Instagram Imbombi, uh, on uh, Twitter at Imbombi Laga. Masbuya. Our parents made sure that we didn't feel little because of the little we had. Keep the channel locked on Mzazi Insider. Our parents, those are the people that work really hard. I mean, raising a child is not child's play, especially with limited resources and limited time. Today's I Got Over It will give us the value of hard work and believing in a better tomorrow. Check it out. She's graced SA screens on shows like Isi Dingo and serenaded us with hit singles like Feeling and Living the Dream. But childhood was never glitz and glamour for Nolly Nolls. Her loving parents raised her on minimum wage. Her mother, a domestic worker, and father, a gardener, worked hard to push Nolly and her siblings to be where they are today. And she's joining us in studio looking like spring and summer. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. You look amazing. Thank you. You so came to Soleil and join us. Thank you. I try, I try, you I try. Thank you so much for coming to hang with us. Um, you, you, you've done so well for yourself. Um, the music, uh, the acting, um, presenting here and there. Looking back at your life mm. and your childhood to now, did you think this is who you would be today? To be honest with you, definitely, because, um, you know, growing up, my mom always tried to make sure that we did everything to find mm -hmm. out exactly what it is that we can excel in. Mm -hmm. I mean, this, like we, act, we do art, karate, zong, and I always would like to say, excelled in the whole like commercial side, and mm -hmm. I was very bubbly as Mdana, when it turned indoors, I said TV, and I would. Do... In the street. You're putting it you. so nicely. Yes, so you know, bring up. Yeah, I'm yeah. But yeah, I've been the as band is open the lap. I've got that nini, been the as band of fake lani. How do we know about your mom? Mm. Uh, she's a domestic worker. What yes, did that yes. mean to you as a child? Did you understand? Did you place rankings like other children do? Do you know what? Because she basically, you know, within the environment, basically, yeah, zing ngamba ite tuk tin londo until we understood. I mean, going to other kids' houses. I remember with my best going to my best friend's house, and we'd always my sister and I would be like, oh, go cool up because we grew up in a room. Yeah. So, thing I understand you, but at the end of the day, you know, we would 
try to not feel, you know, indifferent or not indifferent about our situation, but just mm. it, we were comfortable, we enjoyed it. Yeah. You're saying, Mandu, and obviously as a child, you don't know much. Yeah. But um, yeah, that's all we knew. But hey. An embarrassment because I think, you know, those sort of, um, it's not just domestic workers, but mm. it's, it's, mm. it's a range of other careers where, mm. ah, your mom works there or your mom, your dad is a gardener mm. or whatever. Were you not embarrassed? I remember one time a guy made fun of me. He was like, oh, your dad's a gardener. Ha, ha, ha. At the end of the day, it's like my, my, my circumstance did not define who I would be or who yeah. I end up to be in the end. In the end. English, yeah. I mean, society has funny ways come on build and cutting and drop mm. things. My mother was a kitchen girl. My uh, father. Yeah. My, you know, like when you hear things like mm. that, what's, what's your take? I'm not bothered. Mm. I'm really not bothered. I think if anything, I'm really, really proud of my parents because, yeah. you know, through their circumstances, they've made sure about Tina Sia Figalelu to go because my sister um, is, is a market. She's in marketing, but she's all moved away to Spain. Yeah. My brother's also a model slash actor. You know, we've all we all have our individual degrees, but we followed our passion, and our parents made sure that we didn't feel little because of the little we had. Yeah. But we could dream big and know, you know that what I'm that's sensing? I'm sensing that your mom and your dad created such a loving home mm -mm. that all the other stuff kind of probably just fell off. Like, yes. yeah, you had a yeah. good home. Um, mm. let's, let's, let's talk a little bit about um, just when the times were rough. Mm. You know, my mom was, was, my mom was a teacher mm -mm. and that's somewhat seen as, but there were times when it was dry. Yes. And she did like extreme things to make sure that, you know, she's, she's providing. Mm. What are some of the things that your mom had to do and your, your, your parents basically? You know, I mean, everyone knows Lendo, yeah, 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 film industry is very demanding. There were times when I would have to leave extended Pango Fife and my dad needs to go to work, so my mom needs to walk me to, we need to get a taxi to get to the shoot and she needs to stay with me the whole day. She needs to ask someone else to drop me off or it's just a mission. Mm -hmm. And obviously for herself, she didn't want me to feel as if she's not supporting me by not mm -hmm. being there. But I mean, there were times that she had to give up what she's doing to be with me you know yeah. and also give up some of some of her money because then they would demand these outfits you know for this specific yes. shoot and obviously that requires a lot of out of a person's bank account yeah. if you ain't budget it's yeah. budgeting for it yeah so but it and was she's like got other that. kids you're yes. not the only so, one definitely i'm not yeah. the only one so it was those times and at the same time not trying to make my brother and sister feel as if um they neglected as if they're not part of our family or that she's only for or they're only focusing on me mm. but it, it was obviously tough um, um, we got through it, I mean, mm. prayer, and we just knew that there's going to be a brighter day, and I think that's what we always need to take into life. Yeah. You play a character, a very interesting character, mm. um, Zuki, Zuki. Mm. playing her and coming from the background that you come from. Mm. One, one article said that it's almost like you're paying homage to your mom. Yes. Tell me a little bit about that. It's so crazy because when I went for the audition, I thought it was like the main law, like, you know, the like very Lani, like, you know. Yeah. And then it was totally different, which was lovely because Lo Sis also gave my Kayo, that's where my mother comes from. Yeah. She's a humble, you know, down to earth um, domestic worker. And her, so her story is somewhat similar to my mom's and my dad's story. Mm -hmm. And it was crazy because every time I step, I read where she's going or I read about this character, I'm like, but this is so like. My mom's story. Yeah. So, I mean, I, if anything, I'm really, really lucky. And, and to play that and to be able to tell her story and convey it, because it's yeah. not just my mom's domestic story or my dad's minor story. It is of many minors yeah. out there and domestic workers who are going through the life of Uzuki and no one tells their story. Yeah. But luckily, like Anissa Dingo, we get to tell that story. Yeah. Mm. Um, we come across different situations and obviously we react to them differently. Mm. You're now older mm. and you, you're looking back at your life. What have you learned from that time? Sometimes, you know, your prayers are with are between you and God. Mm. Um, people may think that you don't pray hard enough because you're not moving in your situation, but it's all about God's timing mm. and God's reality. Yeah. Because back then, who would have thought that we would have now lived in a house? I yeah. think as a child, we somehow thought that we'd be staying in a room, we'd be staying in a room all our lives. But yeah. and we would get our mother the house, but she got herself the, her house, and she's fine. Nice. Do you understand? So just you know, praying is between you and God, and what you pray for God only knows when he's gonna give it to you and just be strong and have faith and trust me honey your circumstance does not define your future right? honey, yeah. the biggest investment that you feel your parents did towards your future and who you are today definitely our education 
and making sure that we know that they didn't they gave us something and they didn't leave us leave us with nothing mm. just because they didn't have nothing to begin with okay. what do you have to say to somebody who's maybe embarrassed about what their mom or dad does yeah. um what would you say you know i would say don't be embarrassed of where you come from and what your parents do because mm. that is what is going to get you to where you need to be mm. they're trying to fight for you to get a better life to get the best life that you could ever have possible and if you could say anything to your parents what would you say <laughs> Thank you so much for everything you've done for Sabantu, Colleen, Sizwongyo, and I, and Butemgosi. We really, really appreciate it, and we hope that we're making you proud. I yeah. think you're making them proud. Why are you calling them Buti and Sisi? I, I grew up calling them that. Are you serious? <laughs> yes. So you can't get out of it? You know what? I call my dad with that, but my mom, like, since we were, like, young, we call her Because oh, everyone used to call her And my dad, we either call, her, call him Umbele yeah. or Udata. But we just, it just, it... It's there. Yeah, we call her grandma. there's nothing we can do about it. Yeah. We love you. Yeah, thank thank you. you. Thank you so much for coming to hang with us. I think you. you are a total inspiration. And I think a lot of people, are taking something Thank's. away from us. So meditation is you letting your mind do what it was made to do. Telling your mind, this is what I want and I need a lot of this. Some of the most powerful people in the world meditate, from Oprah Winfrey to Russell Simmons. Even our boss, Pepsi Pogani, gets yes. in a bit of a mood when he doesn't meditate. Stay clear. That's the cue. <laughs> um, uh, is meditation key to a number of successful people? Impa Hobaning, and what are the effects? How do you even meditate? Gajan Tuta teaching us how to meditate and manifest what we want in our lives. Kibu is joining us again. Hello. Hi. How are you? Great. Good to have great. you back on the show. Thank you. Well, Meditation. Yeah. When I think meditation, really, it's like... Mm. Yeah, so like sitting in that pose. Is that what meditation is? Well, not really. Well, that is part of meditation, but okay. you don't have to. You don't have to we go into to. that pose. And, so so yeah. what, is, what is meditation? <laughs> so meditation is you letting your mind do what it was made to do. Okay. So our minds are created in a way that are there for us to focus. So when you focus your mind on a certain subject, on a certain thought, you are telling your mind this is what i want and i need a lot of this that i'm now focusing on yeah so you can literally meditate while you're walking to work or you are sitting at a desk or you're sitting like we're sitting you don't have to go into that pose mm. but you're just focusing on a thought that you would like to get more of that thought mm. so if you're literally focusing on saying currently i don't have money i'm so broke right now so what's happening you focus on that thought so oh, okay. that is how it happens that you literally don't have that money that you want so if you're focusing on a thought that, you know, it would be nice to have money because yeah. you don't have one, you don't want to say I have it because you actually be lying and then you'll be focusing on the fact yeah. that you're lying. Yeah. You like to say, I, I like to have money. And when you sit with that thought and focusing on that, that the moment you feel like having money would be so nice, you're focusing on that, that's meditation. So okay. it is said, Vela Wutsi Tina, as uh, human beings, don't use our entire brain. Is meditation a way of us unlocking other parts of our Absolutely. brain? Absolutely, a lot of our parts oh, wow. of the brain. So Absolutely. the last time you were here, you brought a box and we were putting things in the boxes so that I hope you guys remember, right? You're like visualizing. Oh, you're visualizing all the things you want. <laughs> is, this, is this another form of that? So that box was our mind connecting with a physical something where we can say, here it is a box that represents my mind. In my mind, I've put this things yeah so as I said there's a whole lot of exercises that we do remember I said we have a Facebook group Facebook group where we do this so yeah. one of the exercises is this meditation we call it 68 second meditation yes. Yes. so literally you have to put it into 17 seconds to get to the 68 second so the first 17 second you have that one thought that you would like to manifest the 68 second it helps first to start practicing so for instance you will say i would like to receive 20 bucks today 
So in that first sec 17 seconds, you think of yourself receiving 20 bucks. Will 20 bucks make your life better or not? Like, no, like it's not going to change your life. But the thing is, you are not focused on saying, if I don't get this 20 grand, I'm going to die or something yeah. bad is going to happen to me. So you have a good, um, you've, you've got a good, just nice flowing feeling about 20 bucks. Yeah. But how does it make you feel to receive 20 bucks? Wow, that's a great thing. If someone will come through to you and just, yes, 20 yeah. bucks, you'll feel great. Yeah. So for that first 17 seconds, you think of that 20 bucks. And the moment you are thinking of it, you start seeing yourself receiving it. Is this it. now the second phase? Yes. So the next 17 seconds, you, you're still sitting there and then you see yourself receiving it. You see yourself buying something with the 20 bucks up to the 68 seconds. So what the main theme of using the 68 seven seconds is that the first 17 seconds actually gives you in terms of physical actions 2000 worth hours so if you actually had to work for 20 bucks you will have to have put at work of 2000 hours for you to literally physically just get that 20 bucks yeah well imagine so you sang a mess. You mess. You sang so a mess. We want to try this because I, I, now I get what meditating is yeah. and I get that they're different methods. Yeah. But I want to know how do we meditate? So, so now you're going to teach us. Do I have so, to so cross my legs? I like also this? feel like, can you see I'm changing position? Like, should I sit up right? So as I said, you could Ooh, literally be like walking. <laughs> okay. Okay. So you could literally be walking. So you don't have to, when oh, you can sit on that. So you that, can meditate yeah. wherever you are, yes. however you yes. like. Yes. It's a focus. Your mind focusing on a certain thought okay so if you want to focus without the noise and the noise does not irritate you then you can do it while walking but the whole point of sitting in a dark room quiet room is for you not to be distracted oh, oh, okay cool. so but you can do it yes our minds are powerful enough to do this. exactly so we're gonna have a moment <laughs> of television so in you front of everyone what do you want what are you focusing on I want a million dollars. <laughs> okay, cool. I'm going to start with 50 bucks. Here's our 17 seconds. It starts now. So take a deep breath in and out. So are you going to think of 50 bucks? How will that make you feel? And if you had a 50 million do, uh, dollars, what would you do with that? How does it feel to have a 50 bucks that you were just given this morning? Free. How will you spend it? It is so difficult for me to concentrate, meditate. No, why? <laughs> but you just have to. Do you know why? Pictures. I think under normal circumstances, uh, if we weren't recording a TV oh, show okay. with people talking in my ear, <laughs> and you oh, know... Oh, people are talking in your ear. That's so not right. I'm, I'm hearing the countdown. <laughs> yeah. <part. laughs> so, is it possible for you not to be able to meditate? Are there people who can't? The moment you can think, you can meditate. I, I was getting distracted because I'm thinking of the amount and then the things that I want and that the amount won't add up to that. <laughs> yeah, so think what's big, the trick? Girl, think yeah. big. So what's the trick? Like moving forward now, you've got this idea that you yeah. want, do we still think realistically? Are we allowed to think way, way out of the box? How does it really work? So you can think out of the box, but the purpose of this is for you to prove it to yourself that I have thought of a 50 bucks. I have said and meditated and I thought of a 50 bucks and I got it. So literally you can do this after maybe two days, someone actually literally gives you 50 bucks or gives you something worth of 50 bucks. Something that you did not work for, something that is just a gift. Mm. So then you say, wow, I can actually get the 50 bucks that I was meditating on. So next week you do 100 bucks. Mm. Then the next week you do 1,000 rands. Oh, okay. So then after a longer time, you do a million rand. So you're not going to just start Before million. Yes, million. Because once you dollars. think million, you're going to think, oh, what would, what would I do? How would it come? 
you know. But if you got 50 and you saw that you did not have to do much, you just had to focus on focus it. Focus it. Then, then by the time you're looking for a 1 million rand, someone will call you with a 1 million rand contract. So ultimately, you can meditate about anything. Yes. You can meditate about a boyfriend. So in this instance, you're probably not just going to start here and be like, hey, this is a hunk. I need it. When I get out of my meditation, it's outside. Today, oh. <laughs> Stop <laughs> meditating. <laughs> Man, I want the boyfriend. I want the husband. I don't want the boyfriend. But you could literally start with saying, I would like to get a high or a wave from someone nice. Oh, my God. And then you get it. And then after a week, you say, I actually would like to get, you know, a hello. How are you? You look beautiful. Mm. From it, you know, then you 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 go from you there. Build it up. That's okay. a lot of seventeen <laughs> seconds. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you actually have your husband in your in your sitting room. So yeah, and be like, I meditated you. <laughs> yeah, you wow. yes, absolutely. Oh wow. wow! Thank you so much for coming through. We've definitely learned. Yeah. So sixty-eight seconds. It's the first seventeen seconds. You really just zone in on what you want, and the rest of the seconds you see yourself having it, mm. seeing yourself spend it. Okay. And this could be anything. It's not just money. No, it's it's, it's whatever that yeah. you want to yeah. attract yeah. in your life. Even if you need a job, that's yeah. what you do. Yeah. You imagine having the job. You imagine working into the job. You imagine. Uh, going out at, yeah. at the end of the day. You literally just do that, but without attaching the desperation on it. Mm. So you do like not that. have to feel desperate. So if it's something that you think of and you feel desperate, leave it. Because uh. you're going to attract the other. Remember, you're focusing. You're going to attract the other. So just, uh, if it feels good for you to have it, good. If it doesn't, leave it. Okay, mm, so yeah. leave the desperation out, Pussy. Thank you so much. We always learn so much. How fikile mona homzanti insider. Wow, man. Mm -hmm. He's still <laughs> meditating. Everyone, I'm high on any relationship issues. Gapo, we tola obatla hotsuba from our team of insiders. Ellen, the expects are rona. Whatever problem you have, manang horwa not debanile ona kupa rosha pe money on our social media platforms. Kyo nam zanti insider at bongwe TV. We love hearing from you. Lati ba kina kwa ing. I'm meditating about you saying these lines every week. Item. <laughs> <laughs> I'm meditating on you disappearing. 17 seconds. Is it seconds. happening? Is it happening? <laughs> Keep the channel locked on Mzazi Insider. You know what it is, Mzazi Insider. Welcome back to the show. Power Person is up next. Check it out. Three young minds came together to deliver what has become SA's go-to spot for online entertainment content. Andy Lematobela, the founding editor of Skipani.com, together with Ali Fatana and Bongam Bongose, have carved a space for themselves in what's fast becoming the most exciting time in the entertainment industry. And they're joining us in studio right now, gents. Zikipa! Zikipa, is that corny? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Right? It is, is We out here branding, John. Throw it in wherever we can. How are you guys doing? Uh, we cool, we cool. 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 who actually don't know Gutsini is Kipani. Um, just fill them in on, on the brand. Uh, Skipani.com is like the coolest, freshest youth website, or should I say platform, yeah. you know? Nobody documents the South African youth culture like us. We're basically like the youth trendsetters in South Africa. Mm. Yeah, I'd like basically. That. Like, what do you say after that? You're just like, yeah. <laughs> guys, how do you get your stories? Because, I mean, we see you guys at events, and then you guys, are, you know how well they fit in. They're just like, you'll say, hi, how are you? And then they keep passing. But how do you guys get your actual juice? How do you get your stories? Uh, we blend into the crowd. Yeah, So, no. yeah, we out there in the background, but then at the same time, we're just assessing out what's going on in the youth market and uh -huh. just go back to the office and we write we'll our put stories. It all yeah. we'll put it down. Do you know South Africa net doesn't have like a strong paparazzi culture, uh, if I may say that. Mm -hmm. So do you guys think you're, you're bringing the paparazzi to SA? <laughs> you know, you, you know uh, it, it's so funny, you know, like South Africa, net, like a lot of people net, don't appreciate local celebs you know, as much as, you know, Americans do. Yeah. So naturally, you know, it also like, you know, resonates with like our, our publications and so forth. Mm. But we just wanna, not in a sense of like paparazzi, like, you know, like we, we don't stalk celebrities, we just document what they do. Mm. So to answer your question, you know, we, we're not really, you know, trying to get there, but we just wanna, 
you know, document. If it happens, it happens. If it if happens, you it there happens. To yeah, it, you know, because you were there. because we we cover like a lot of parties. So whoever is at the party, we document. So mm. you know, if celebrities are there hanging out, if AK and Bonang are kissing, you're gonna be like, oh, AK and Bonang were there and they were kissing. You know, oh, okay, is that paparazzi? Cool. I don't know. You know, like. Oh well, it is. <laughs> it is <laughs> absolutely. To I a think you guys. Extent. Oh, what's but, the biggest but, story? But we also take like pictures of everybody else too. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, you guys so take it's not dope just pictures. Celebs. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I know it's all. Yeah. Y'all take a yeah. dope picture of me too. You know what I'm saying? You guys, they say. I want to know your biggest story thus far. Like where you guys went back to the office. You were like, yes, we did that. But a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we have a lot. But AKA always give you pushing a fan of stage. Yeah. yeah. You were you was it you guys? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh but okay. no, that, that was like a <laughs> a moment in life. Yeah. yeah, but more recently we showed a video that went viral. We interviewed Kanyimbao. Oh, Kanyimbao. Yeah. 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 and then she she told us like she she spoke for the first time that Mabala Noise gave them a lot of money. Yeah. Yeah. And then you know that video just went viral. Yeah. Like literally yeah. every station, every paper ran with it. And How? It, easy is it to <laughs> be a black company mm. that's on uh, the internet uh, to make money? It's, it's very easy and very difficult at the same time. Oh. It's easy in the sense that, you know, because you understand the market and you're yeah. black, yeah. you know what, you know, especially for us, because, you know, we also like, we're getting old now, but we're also young, you know, so yeah. we understand what <laughs> young people want to read. We understand what, what type of, you know, uh, content they would like to see out there. So it's very easy in that sense, in terms of your creativity. Yeah. But in terms of resources and, and financial, you know, financial backing and all that, then it becomes very difficult. Yeah. So, you know, if some people don't have the patience to, you know, just, you know, weather the storm and push hard, yeah. so they give up easy, you know, a lot of talented people Talented uh, creatives have given up, yeah. you know. But yeah, it's easy to make, but you know, to make money is the hardest part. Yeah. So if you can balance the two, then you know, you're good to go. Branding yeah. is obviously very important with what you guys do. That's why the advertisers yeah. come. Yeah. You guys have obviously broken stories that have gotten ruffled a couple of feathers. How do you come back from that? We've never really had a lot of problems with that yeah. because we, we don't fabricate stories, you know. We're mm. not like a, a tabloid publication. We just document what's there, and we'll yeah. never say anything if, if we can't back it up. Yeah. So sometimes, you know, we've never really had problems with like big celebrities because you know when we say something, something that they said, or pictures that we took, or videos that we took. Yeah. You know, the only time where you know people have complained a bit is is, is actually like the normal people at parties. They'd be like, "No, I look fat in that picture. Please take it off." Mm. You know. But other than that, we've never really got into trouble. You know. Sure, somebody would actually go to the extent. Does it matter? Saying, take Does it, it down. matter if they complain? <laughs> you know what, guys? We've been looking at a couple of your tweets. Mm. So, and you're not the nicest of people. Yeah. Uh, I have one tweet here. This is Ali's tweet saying, oh. um, Dear, br listen, listen. Ali, we will refresh your memo. <laughs> Dear brands, your promo girls can still Ooh. look sexy and warm in nice branded clothes. <laughs> they out here freezing. What? <laughs> But for real though, like you, you meet them at these events, you know, you warm, dressed up, you winter dog, you get there and this girl is shivering, she's trying to put your tag on and she, she can't even get it on. <laughs> I find it funny because, you know, like they can... They, they can could be actually be dressed. Yeah, yeah they could yeah. actually... And you guys would still find them hot, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So mm. you were just telling the, the brand. Like, what's going on out here? Turn up okay, hand cool. Over. Yeah. I've got one, I've got a tweet from Andile. Yeah. Uh, he says, uh, for now, my pickup line is, hi, I'm Andile uh, Matobela. I trended on Twitter. Want to have a drink? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> You're gonna use wow. trending on there Twitter. There we go. No. What was going on? I tweeted something, you know, and then I trended on Twitter, and I was like, wow, I trended on Twitter. Like for me, uh -huh. as an individual, that's like for the first time, you know. And I was excited, and I was like, wow, you know, when I go out, I'm gonna be like, yeah, I trended on Twitter, you know, I'm gonna use that <laughs> yeah. as, a, as a, you know. That's what we did it work? That's no, what we tried to find I, out. I was just fooling around, basically. Oh, it was just. I did. We watch it. You know, you tried it. <laughs> it's not something you're gonna do in real life. Like, no, no. 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 For real, this is me. I hope <laughs> that. I hope. No, no, I was just, I was just excited. So. Well, yeah. that's not where it ends. We're going down the line. <laughs> Come on, Bonga. You know I'm coming to you, right? Uh, in 2011. 2011. <laughs> the archives. We are like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm you said at Mbau Reloaded. I think she's even changed her name now, right? Hey, beautiful. So what's <laughs> happening in Miami? 
I don't even remember that. I'm not even acting. Was she brother. in Miami? Mm? <laughs> or were you making up your own Miami? I maybe used to have a crush on her. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 I guess so. Hey. so hey. my back, 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 back in the day. <laughs> hey, beautiful. <laughs> hey, beautiful. Jeez, guys. <laughs> okay, I think we caught them out nicely. Yeah, now that we've nice exposed you. Nice things about us. Yeah, and, uh, you know, all the best with your work. I think you guys mm. are doing amazing stuff. And you truly are an inspiration to all the insiders. You said it's easy, but it's difficult. Mm. But if you persist, a lot of creatives have dropped out. And I think what you guys are doing are yeah. it's too sick, man. Yeah. And there you have it, an awesome jam-packed show just for you. Entertainment galore. We came to slay. Yes. Thank you so much for joining us. It's been fantastic. Entertaining you, and we hope we did entertain yes. you. Uh, we do it again. You have to get to London, SAPC One, and for sure. But this is a salap. It's an amplage. I'm Katzen Abbasen. And I'm Rosanne Tanegisa. We love you. See you next week. We are. Peace.